All right, so here we have the final shifter set up after I cut the hole out and mounted the uh, 300ZX shifter plate, support plate. Put a new bushing in here and whatnot. And then we'll uh, take you up front, up top, and show you how we did that as well. Sorry, it's not the best angle to see things, but I already got my uh, shift knob on there, so I can't get the the boot off, or at least the, the rubberized boot that goes underneath. But basically, that's the shifter plate from a 300ZX. I bolted it there, and I bolted it over here. I'm going to make a little extension and bolt it there, and I'll bend that over and bolt it there, and I'll trim that uh, so that it will mate with the... Uh, or bend it down so that it will mate with the uh, the wall of the car. So, but shifters in, and I got all my five gears nice and tight. And I actually like it. It's a little bit further back from the factory one, and I always thought the factory one was a little bit too far forward with the factory five speed. This one's really nice, and it gives you good good uh, leverage on it. A little bit further back so i'm actually not too concerned we're going to build ourselves a a console here out of sheet metal and whatnot so there you go that's the the whole shifter mechanism all right guys so what we're going to do here is we're going to modify the 280zx sending unit which is on the bench here we're going to cut it right there where the pickup is and then we're going to put this four burrow pump that i had laying around right on there and then we're going to stick it in this tank and we're going to hopefully have an in-tank pump i'll let you know how i make out all right guys so i got it all figured out and uh, this isn't my original idea i gotta give some credit to my friend uh chris west from arkansas Shout out to Chris West. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Um, but we've got the Warboil pump. We cut the uh, strainer off the pipe. All right, we connected the Warboil pump. It took me a little while to figure out exactly how to get it to go in there. Um, and you guys can't see it, but there's basically a compartment down in there. Um, it's like a baffle compartment. And I had to modify that a little bit to accept the sock. But uh, basically uh, worked out pretty good. And hopefully I can show you how it uh, goes in here. I'm going to clamp you in the vise for a second. Bear with me. All right, that should do it. I'll show you how it fitted in here. All right, so we got you in there. Looks good. I got the wiring caught in there, but what I'm going to do is bring the wiring and another idea by Chris West up and out of the hose, out of the vent hose, okay? And then just put the vent hose over the wiring and clamp it down. Should be good enough, but fits in there good. And uh, no problems. We'll see how it pumps. Talk to you soon.